right, this is question number six from Dr. Long's review. The first part is asking, based on the structure of arachidonic acid, why is it going to be released by phospholipase A2 rather than A1? And the reason is, is because phospholipase A1 is going to is going to break this ester bond right here, releasing from the first carbon, releasing that fatty acid. Phospholipase A2's job is to is to break this ester bond right here, releasing releasing anything that from releasing the fatty acid from carbon number two, and then phospholipase C is going to break before the phosphate, and then phospholipase D breaks after the phosphate. And so we know that arachidonic acid is going to be located on carbon number two because carbon number two is going to have unsaturated fatty acids on it. So that's where arachidonic acid is going to be. And since phospholipase A2 cleaves, any, cleaves, cleaves what's at cleaves the ester bond at um, carbon number two, that's that's why arachidonic is going to be released at carbon number two instead of carbon number one.